Today I'm super excited to share a project that's been a long time in the making. A fully functional 3D printed pinball machine made entirely with Sonlu filaments. Well, let's not waste time, let's make it, let's print it, let's roll the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Alessio and this is Pixel Forge Lab. I originally planned to modify the model by adding a real score screen. LED lights and sound effects, but after contacting the creator on Maker World, I learned that the model isn't available for remixes. So I had to stick with the original design. You can find the model link in the description below if you're interested in making one of these. In this build I used four different filaments. PLA wet mat, which is actually over, it's completely gone. One kilogram of PLA white mat gone. Then I used PLA black matte, and then blue matte, and then PLA silk, bronze or copper. It took me around 3 intense days to print all these parts and I encountered a few failures along the way. But every challenge taught me something new. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about the materials. I unboxed 4 Sanlu filaments today. Check out these colors. PLA white matte, PLA black matte, PLA blue matte, and PLA luxurious PLA silk bronze copper. Right out of the box you can see the quality Sandu provides. The matte finishes offer a very clean look, while the silk bronze copper has an eye-catching shine. In fact you can see me using it in so many of my builds, including my Bamboo Lab P1P with the custom vision enclosure video right here. And by the way, to tweak and calibrate this filament, especially the black and the blue, took me quite a while, but I have a profile to download if you'd like to, connected to my Patreon, so if you'd like to support the channel, join my Patreon to download the file and also see some bloopers. An interesting note, during the printing of the white panels, I actually ran out of filament and had to replace it with a used spool from the same material and brand, obviously, to keep everything consistent. It was a minor hiccup, but it's part of the journey when tackling long prints. Once the filament were unboxed, I started the printing process. This project took me 3 full days to complete, and trust me, it wasn't all smooth sailing. For instance, some parts started warping at the corners. To counter this, I went into Bamboo Studio and added brim ears on the affected areas, which is a fairly new feature and it works really well. And I also added supports where necessary, because I failed in one of the panels I realized in mid prints ish so I had to kind of remake that one from scratch adding supports where it needed it. I kept the printer door closed at all times, to maintain a constant temperature. Another key tweak was using the Bamboo Lab Cool Plate Super Tack. My tests showed that PLA mat is less viscous than normal PLA, which improved adhesion on the build plate. One extra factor that extended the print time by over an hour each was that I enabled the iron feature on the top surfaces. While ironing gives a fantastic smooth finish, it does slow things down. All these adjustments helped overcome the initial challenges and deliver high quality parts. With all the parts finally printed, it was time to assemble the pinball machine. This stage was like putting together a giant intricate puzzle. I started with the base and frame, carefully aligning each part. I attached the bumpers, flippers and the ramps. The different finishes really shine here. The matte surfaces give it a sleek professional look and the sleek bronze copper adds a touch of elegance and flair. It wasn't all that easy because I had to file some parts and kind of check the instruction to see where the actual mechanical goes and everything and also I realized that the, the handles are mounted upside down that's because there is like a little bit of an elephant foot so I couldn't really fit them but maybe I'll do it another time. Although there were some challenges in aligning the moving parts every component fit together perfectly thanks to the precision of the prints. Before we jump into the final testing I want to give a huge shout out to Sonlu. Their high quality affordable filaments make projects like this one possible. Sunlus range from matte finishes to that stunning silk bronze copper, delivers consistent performance and great results. I have included an affiliate link in the description below with an exclusive discount code. 
every little commission helps support the channel. Especially since, let's be honest, YouTube pays shit. If you're looking to upgrade your 3D printing materials without breaking the bank, definitely check out Sunlu. And now for the moment of truth, testing the pinball machine in action. With everything assembled, I ran several games to see how well the machine performs under real play conditions. Listen to the satisfying clatter of the ball hitting bumpers and flippers and watch as the machine responds perfectly to every move. The combination of different finishes not only looks visually stunning, but also demonstrates the reliability and quality of each print. This is where all the adjustments and fine tuning truly pay off, whether it's the smooth motion from the flippers or the solid base that keeps the ball bouncing. Every component has its role in delivering a fun, responsive experience. Taking a step back and looking at the finished project, it's clear that every tweak, whether in printing or assembly, made a difference. The slight challenges we encountered, like warping and the longer print time due to ironing, were all overcome with careful calibration and smart adjustments. The end result is a pinball machine that not only performs well, but also looks incredible with its mix of matte and silk finishes. This project really shows that with the right materials and a little perseverance, you can achieve professional quality results, even on a budget. And remember, if you're looking to try this out for yourself, check out the Sunlu affiliate link in the description below for a great discount. Thank you so much for watching this 3D printed pinball machine project. I hope you enjoyed the build process, the printing journey and the full test run as much as I did. If you liked this video, please hit that like button, subscribe for more creative 3D printing projects and uh, leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Your support really helps keep the channel going. And that's all for this week. Make sure to subscribe. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one.